Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Today, our state will continue to take steps to prepare for the coronavirus. The governor will be joining the U.S. Surgeon General and other local health officials at the Connecticut State Public Health Laboratory in Rocky Hill this morning. Doctors at the Connecticut Public Health Lab in Rocky Hill are among those equipped to test for coronavirus disease. During today's visit, the governor, health officials, and other elected leaders will tour the lab where testing for coronavirus will be conducted. Officials will also get briefed on the efforts to combat the coronavirus disease. A freight train carrying propane derailed last night in Plainville. No roads are closed in the area this morning of Basswood Street and Bartlett Street. We're told no one was hurt either. DEEP was called to the scene. Police say none of the propane exploded. People have the chance to speak out both for and against legalizing marijuana for recreational use. The latest plan allows adults 21 and older to possess and purchase up to one and a half ounces of marijuana from licensed retailers. Governor Lamont and Democratic leaders support the bill, but critics warn it could impact health and lead to more crashes. A public hearing starts today at 10 a.m. at the state capitol. All right. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Our Channel 3 Early Warning Dual Pole Radar scan dry this morning. We did have a couple of scattered snow showers overnight. Uh, as you can see from Futurecast, we're looking at a pretty good day of weather. A little bit of mixture of clouds and sunshine. And then I think we're actually going to see partly to mostly sunny skies right through about 5 p.m. Then the clouds are on the increase tonight, and there will be some scattered showers developing after midnight tonight through very early tomorrow morning. This is 3 a.m. This is 4 a.m., 5 a.m., so there will be some scattered showers. Tomorrow morning's commute, it should be over by. Then we're going to get a little bit of a break, and then more showers roll in tomorrow afternoon. This is around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 3, 4, 5, it moves through, and then by 7, it kind of winds down. And then by about 9.30, it's back with us. Another batch of showers Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday afternoon, we're looking at partial clearing with a pretty nice day of weather on Wednesday. And for the next three days, those temperatures are going to Moderate. We're talking about low 50s today with partly sunny to mostly sunny skies, increasing clouds late tonight. And then look at the temperatures, 58, 55, and then it does get cooler towards the latter part of the week. That's a check of your early morning forecast. I'm meteorologist Scott Haney from Channel 3. Have a great day. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.